Uh, what has been the biggest challenge with filming the series? That's a good question. Biggest uh, challenge? Hours? Were you going the to? hours, yeah. yeah. Probably how we much? You sound a bit pathetic saying that, actually, but it's, it's demanding. <laughs> no, we have said it. <laughs> um, <laughs> pathetic. Yeah. Um, it's pathetic it's for you. <laughs> you don't know the hours I <laughs> work. <laughs> So it's American TV show. The in the UK, you generally do about six, uh, push eight um, episodes for a yeah. season or series, and that's usually just it. They're kind of standalone, one-off things. Uh, this doing like ten, ten hours of, of uh, you know, eight months, all day, every day, bar weekends. It's kind of uh, it was a kind of a shift for us yeah. UK actors. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So what has been the most fun with doing the series? Um, well, it's been a combination. One has been the actual uh, the experience of doing. It's the kind of show where you do things you don't generally get to do as an actor. Yeah. Generally, you you know, you, if you're in a medical show, you do an operation is the most exciting thing, and you'll get one of those every month. Or if you're in a a, a crime show, then it'll be a good murder once in a while. Yeah. This show, there's something. We do something extraordinary almost every day. We blow something up, or we're mm. in an incredible new location, or so horses, and horses sword fighting, and swords, and we're and in harnesses, and yeah, and stunts. And so there's, it's not like your average job. So that's the fun on the set. And then the most fun part afterwards has been seeing people's reaction to it around the world. Like actually seeing people be so intensely passionate, not just in the way that sometimes as an actor, people come up to you and say, "Oh, I know you from, yeah. you from that thing." Oh, but and they to school together. Yeah, well, go, do you work in the local <laughs> Tesco's? Whereas now, people come up and go, "What's the deal? What's happening with Lucretia? Why is the Pope like this? What's the?" They want to ask questions about the show because oh. they're so passionate, and that's lovely. Yeah. yeah. So uh, with all those actions and stuff, mm -hmm. has there been any injuries? Yeah. Tom got. Uh, a woofer in his face huh. uh, just the other day. I did. A woofer is like um, an explosion of like cork and dust. Cork and dust and grit and. Yeah. And, and it was about here. Rock. Yeah, and it, it, you fire it into a scene <laughs> and it looks like things are exploding. Yeah. Um, and it was fired a touch too early. <laughs> I was supposed to be running away and it went off. And um, instead it gets me in the face. And I think if they play, if they do what I think they're going to do, that's gonna, that shot of me getting it in the face is going to make it into the show. Oh, yeah. So you're going to see me get injured. Yeah. We then stopped and filmed the rest of it another day, but that was... It all went <laughs> very quiet. <laughs> and I was about 10 yards away. And I had the best like, view. Oh no, he's it's divinity's divinity's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like they managed to save your face. Yeah, it missed my eye. But oh. It was above and below my eye. It was like that. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> A question to to you, Tom. Can you tell us anything about your role in uh, Kill Your Kill Your Friends? Oh, <laughs> well, I c uh, that's a good. I can. I play a character called Parker Hall, yeah. who is uh, the nemesis of uh, Stephen Stolfox's Nick Holt's character, um, and he is uh, he has discovered uh, that there is there is a young musician in the film who who everyone wants because she is going to be the next big thing, and I have managed to sign her. With my with my company and, and and that causes a lot of jealousy amongst the other music records. But she is played by a young Stockholm Swedish oh. musician called Frida Sundema, um, and uh, she 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 is the the jewel everyone's fighting over in the okay. movie. So um, and I and I have an in with her. So that's <laughs> what I'm, that's what I'm playing. Okay. And I managed to answer it, uh, turn it into a Swedish question. Yeah, that's great. Very good. We've done this before. <laughs> So how did you guys end up in this uh, in uh, Da Vinci's Demons? We just walked into the set yeah. one night. And, uh, <laughs> and we've so been in the costumes for years, yeah, yeah, just yeah. waiting. Just yeah. waiting. Uh, well, the auditions were two, three years ago. Yeah. Um, in London, and uh, it was one of those really buzzed about projects. The David Goyer, obviously, Batman Begins, and Man of Steel, all those films that we we wanted to be involved. Yeah. Um, and I got the part just before Christmas, and then we did lots of auditions for the other characters, and I read with a lot of them, and, and I read with Greg, <coughs> and uh, he was awful. He was awful in the audition, really, really bad. bad. <laughs> and I said, I, he can't, I don't, he, he, yeah. I don't want him. But they were so desperate, <laughs> that they and I said, look, don't pay me, 
I'll, I'll put anything. myself up, I'll do anything. Yeah. Mm. So now I'm married to Tom. <laughs> yeah. I'm we, very unhappy. <laughs> it seems like it worked out in the It end. worked out in the end, but it was a rocky road. Yeah. <laughs> and why should people watch uh, Da Vinci's Demons? Because if you don't love it, <laughs> you're going to love it. <laughs> Crystal, that's for you. You're either going to love it, you're either going to love it, or you're really going to really love, love it. <laughs> um, because it's it's not like anything else on TV. It's it's um, it's a period it's a period drama. If you like period dramas, this is period dramas with the volume like cranked up to eleven. It's rock and roll. Period. It's a rock and roll period drama, particularly in the first season. And then as the seasons progress, it will become more deep and rich. The characters will get stronger and more complex. Their relationships with one another will become more um, fascinating. Uh, so uh, it will pay back your investment. You, you'll get to the first season will be like jumping back and forth through different versions of what the show can possibly be and the parameters within, it, within which the show works and then it will become deeper and richer. And there's 28 more hours of it, at least. Yeah. Still we're shooting season three at the moment. So. That's great. Uh, who would you like to play uh, you in the movie of your life? It's a question for you Greg. both. I'd like Greg to play me. I'm going to play the song, yeah, and probably um, Dame Edna Everidge for me. Yeah, the big, <laughs> can I have possums? <laughs> that was pretty good. That wasn't, wasn't bad. It wasn't great, that was it? Um, who would play me? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if anyone's got the chops for it. No, I know. Al Pacino. Al uh, Pacino. Yeah, Pacino. No, I don't know. Who is there? Who's a know. young chocolate? But it's a story of your life. Is it a story of your life up till now? Or yeah. like when you're dead? Oh, it can be whatever you prefer. You say up to, until you're dead. Until you're dead, so it could be an older actor. Javier Bardem. Javier Bardem. Do he looks a bit like you, because you both look a bit like sexy cows. <laughs> He's so I, have nice a, I have a face <laughs> like Guernica. Yeah, he's brilliant. Oh, what a great Javier actor. Bardem. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. He's my favourite. One of my favourites. He's amazing in it. He's so handsome and strong. <laughs> <laughs> and so brilliant in No Country for Old Men <coughs> as well. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. I can see him playing you. <laughs> We've both Look, got looking forward no. for that movie. Yeah, I am too now. <laughs> we should send him the offer quickly. So, of the season one and two, what uh, what is your favourite? Oh well, I mean, they three. They, <laughs> they, <it's> three <laughs> yeah. Um, we, the the show, it would be disingenuous to say anything except that for us, the show gets even better and even better as it goes on. Yeah. So. Um, Season one, we've got we're very proud of. We have a very soft spot for, and it was exciting and fresh, and, and very very different. And, um, but it does get better as it goes along, which is exciting. You know, it's it and, and if it didn't, then we'd be doing something wrong. Yeah. If we don't, you know, if you don't learn from what works and what doesn't work, that's the magic of being able to write TV you, or be in TV. You get to watch back and yeah. see what was working, what wasn't working, and and um, and, and then evolve. So three probably as we're shooting right now. Yeah. So, what do you prefer of uh, making films and TV? Oh. Well, there's a kind of strange crossover now, really, because mm. particularly this show is so kind of cinematic, and we can't. Particularly, season one is like um, eight films, mm. eight features. I suppose, at least with film, you're generally on it less, <laughs> so you're not working you crazy have more time hours. You have film. more time. It's less rushed. More uh, takes. More, more takes. More yeah. time for rehearsal. Less less things shot in a day. Yeah. You know, three pages shot in a day rather than six pages. Um, but but so the, that's the con of TV is that you don't get as much time as you need sometimes, especially if you want to make something that looks as beautiful as our show does. Yeah. A lot more time is going to be devoted to the lighting than to getting the acting again. Yeah. Um, whereas on cinema, you get both of those things. However. With cinema, you don't get the luxury of developing a character over years. You don't get the luxury of delving deeper into things and being able to hold your water and do a long, <laughs> slow burn of an arc, you know. Hold your water. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing Alan Bennett now, because we've had Dave oh, Edward Average. Totally. Uh, yeah. I'm never going to work again. You're not, are you? <laughs> so, uh, <there's laughs> the site that I'm coming from mainly gives out um, ideas for people what they can watch. Do you right. have any? Favorite TV show or favorite movie that you could recommend to our called, um, our readers? Uh, what that 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 we like or that yeah. we think like Da Vinci? Oh, no, 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 that we like. That, that you we like. like. Give me one uh, TV show and one uh, one movie. It okay. can be new and old. It doesn't matter. Great. For me, uh, yeah. recently, House of Cards, yeah. season one. 
um, film I Am Love with Tilda Swinton. Really? Set in Milan. I loved it. I loved that too. Do you know a funny story about that, that film? What? I was on the train yeah. to Swansea in the first year and I was watching, glamorous. Um, <laughs> very glamorous, and I was watching I Am Love on an iPad. Yeah. And there's some quite cheeky scenes there are. in I Am Love, some quite sexy scenes. And I was sat next to quite an old lady, and she was asleep, but she kept waking up just at the time. Like the, the dirtiest scenes were on my iPad, and she did it three times at the three different moments. Of the thing. And as she got off the train, she shook her head at me. She tutted at me for watching porn on the train. <laughs> but I was actually watching a very deep Italian wonderful deep movie. You're watching deep throat. Yeah, Linda Lovelace and deep throat. Um, and so that's your choices. They're good choices. They're good choices. Yeah. Um, recently, I've watched Orange Is the New Black. We're both plugging Netflix here, um, which I loved, uh, uh, for purely for the character development. Mm-hmm. It's the most the plot does isn't as isn't as sort of doesn't push the story as much as in other, in other shows that have a grand mythology. But the character work is just exquisite. You know, it's some of the best character work I've seen on TV. Yeah. It balances humour and drama beautifully, and I think the lead actress Taylor Schilling has an incredibly difficult job, surrounded by very interesting supporting actors. And yet what she does is phenomenal. I think she's an extraordinary actress. And I'd like to meet her and shake her hand and tell her. Um, for, for a uh, film, what's, what's recent? What have I come out and loved recently? Have I told you anything? It doesn't that. have to be recent. It can be we liked, I mean, one. we liked Edge of Tomorrow, didn't we? We did like Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah. I think that was totally That's the underrated. Most underrated Film of the big year. action yeah. flick with Tom right. Cruise, but actually it was wicked. It was just, it was just, f- it was funny, and uh, smartly directed, and a smart original idea, sold really badly. Yeah. I think the marketing made it look like it was a generic monster sci-fi, robot yeah. sci-fi movie. We it went in like smarter. we've got nothing to do. Yeah. Let's go and watch this, and we came out like, oh, oh my, my god, god. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah there you go. Good answer. Thank you. So um. Besides the uh, Da Vinci's Demons, are you working on anything else right now? We, c- we literally don't have a spare moment, do we? I mean, we're, we don't even have time to audition for other things. So okay. we, I put Greg on tape for an American thing on Sunday night, and we do that in our, in our gaps. We go, quick audition for this. And mm-hmm. you know, yeah. t- ten hours on camera during the day, and yeah. then a little bit of food, and then I'm back over to his apartment yeah. doing uh, tapes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that was all the questions I had, so thank you very um, much. Thank you very thank much. You very much.